Hey guys, and welcome back to the last episode of the Lost World Jurassic Park Let's Play. I am your host here, Tyron King 10. From where we last left off, we completed the Tyrannosaurus. And there is the level password to get into our new set character, which is the last character in the game. And here's the said gallery for Mr. Tyrannosaurus himself. So without further ado, enjoy the last uh, cutscene intro for our last character. Now you might be wondering, Tyrant, what's the difference between human prey and human hunter? Well, as the human hunter, you went around shooting dinosaurs and jumping over chasms. As human prey, you run! No, I'm not kidding, you run! Because, uh, what's exactly chasing us? Oh, I don't know, our last character we just played? So, yeah, you play as Sarah Harding as our last character and pretty much the rest of the levels which only there are three last levels in the game uh consists of actual obstacle dodging and uh soon to be other creatures to avoid um what you want to be really careful about is not only the t-rex itself that's chasing you but uh if the t-rex is behind you and you get in front of a set of spikes and it runs over the set of spikes it will spray out a great amount of spikes and that actually will really hurt you because if you come in complete contact with spikes, you will pretty much lose all your health. So yeah, just be warned about that. Definitely do not jump on spikes, you'll probably die instantly. Um, you can use the purple flares that you are given as the power-ups to actually uh, distract the Tyrannosaurus and actually make him go wherever you shoot the uh, flare. And while you do that, if the Tyrannosaurus is distracted by the flare, you are invulnerable by its attacks. You also have to be aware that uh, for some reason the Hunter's explosions are also friendly fire enabled, so you have to be very careful about that. But uh, in this stage that's coming up right now, has another dinosaur you have to be careful about, but only if you decide to venture in the below world. As long as you, as long as you are fast, and as long as you do not rem oh no, get off the ground, you are okay from Velociraptors. But as I kind of fa am failing to show this, I'm not doing a very good job. Same thing as the spikes in the, uh, as the, uh, freaking, I don't know what to call it, guard spikes, you know, barricade, uh, these, uh, ribcage bones act just the same way as those spikes, in which they would just completely mess you up if you get in front of them. Now, what I'm failing to do is showing a very quick way to get through this level, which is just, mostly just, perfectly just aiming your tether and going about it. Holy! Just like that. I didn't even hear the uh, T-Rex come in. Get out of my way. And now that I don't have any flares, I can't really use that anymore. So if I screw up... Oh! Oh my god, the lag! No! Lag, I hate you! Oh yeah, and there's absolutely no use in trying to hurt the T-Rex. You can't do anything about it. I don't think you'll really even phase it. I didn't even really try. Like... Occasionally you will get grenades, but that won't really help you. Where the heck is this lag coming from? Go away! One second. Okay, maybe that's better. Maybe just by pausing it for just one second for it to catch up is all it needed. 
please stop hurting me, Mr. Raptors. And what's amusing is that the Raptors themselves can actually die if they run into the back of the rib cage barricade question mark, which is kind of lulzy. This time, however, you do need to jump and yay. And also you gotta have enough to help to make it, so hopefully you came prepared. Since the T-Rex can't pass that, we pretty much just have raptors to deal with, who are just gonna appear from the left and right. I'd recommend don't really fight them. Just try to get your way out of here. But if you have the ammo, they won't ever spawn back. Well, unless you move off the screen enough. Uh, come on, make it, make it! Ah, uh, of course I didn't make it. And let's not die, please. Come on, swing faster. And lift off! Yay! Dodge the last rafters, and you are at the final level! Graveyard has been complete. Of course, uh, it's very hard to get a ranking beyond Survivor. Unless you really do feel like killing raptors all day long to at least get predator, but that's so pointless. We actually have our last boss battle of the game, which is the T-Rex itself. And this time we, ac we can actually hurt it. What I recommend is keeping the flamethrower fuel for later. You'll s you trust me, you'll see why. Thank you for destroying those, I guess. Maybe. I don't know if I should be thanking you. But... The lower ammunition do not respawn. However, things above this, like the crane and that little notchway, do respawn back. But it's not instantaneous, like as soon as you get off the screen, it'll respawn back. You have to wait a little while before it comes back. Yeah. So we got a flare, a medkit, and uh, grenades that will respawn after a set amount of time. But with that in hand, we can put Mr. Tyrannosaurus in a corner and perfectly aim our shots. And this is pretty much the battle. Just make sure you don't run out of flares. Go away. Since this is respawn, I'm going to make the most use of it. The reason why I'm keeping the flamethrower fuel is, well, flamethrower fuel is the most damaging thing to the T-Rex. So am I, why am I not using it? Well, you'll see. If you've seen the movie, then you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, go away. Shut up! He's still not down? Oh, excuse me, pardon me. I have to get through here. There, there's your flare. Enjoy. Ow! Of course, you definitely don't want to get hit because they hurt. As expected for a carnivore that's existed for this long. Eh, go over there. Oh, just go down already. This is well enough shots to take him down, but he's just so stubborn. Yeah. Okay, I swear, if the this guy doesn't go down by the last grenade shots, then... Well, not the last, but these grenade shots, then... Man, this is one beefy T-Rex. This is like the beefiest T-Rex I've ever fought this time around. Oh my goodness, he survived. Whoa! Two of them! Two of them! Not good! Okay, you go over there. Alright. Oh, I missed. That's not good. Hey! Oh, that's the enemy. Unless I just killed this T-Rex right here and now, which is probably not the case. Nope, nope, not the case. Which just continuously just keep pushing me back. Okay, well that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know why that did, but it wasn't. I don't know why that first T-Rex took way too long to kill. 
But what I will do to speed this up is put him over here. Of course, the box traps him. And die for me, please. Die for me, please. Thank you very much. As soon as the first one is down, the other one should spawn. But if you wait long enough, the second one will come and that will make things a little bit more difficult. Now, of course, if I keep missing, then things are also not going to be better either. It's also kind of cool that you... In this game, you kind of don't really have invincibility frames. They just kind of smack you one. Go over there, please. Jeez. Can I have some personal space, please? You know, when a girl says no, they mean no. Now, go away. Collect the health first. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, come on! Yes! And... Flares are mine! Now go away. With that being taken care of, I can... Go grab another set of grenades. Nope. Time run out. Yeah, go over there. Please. Don't fight me. I swear to Jesus. Just in time for the flares to come back. I am kind of taking this the safe way. I could just fight him regularly, but again, I only have time mines, which really aren't that good. In fact, I'll probably just go after the grenades now. Get you over here. And empty that can you please go down jeez you're like the longest lasting boss ever without the flamethrower it's kind of one I it's kind of, it's kind of the reason why I wanted to save the flamethrower for the last one because well I guess no matter what I what I do Although I could split the flamethrower across the two, but then again, it'd still take us just as long, I think. Get over there. <laughs> He's still not down! <laughs> well, I should stop saying just one gender. She's not down! Actually, I don't know which one is which. I think the darker one is a male. Could be wrong. And take the green eggs of doom! Last grenade for the win? Maybe. Hopefully. If I don't miss... Yeah, this is taking way too long. I don't even have any time mines. All I have is my tranquilizer. This is just wonderful. <laughs> this has never lasted this long. But, oh well. Gotta do what you gotta do. I want the fire flare and be all fancy-like. But there. Finally, you're down! Now, enjoy the last cutscene of the game. Oh, and a very special treat, too. So, enjoy.
How's, How's this? Is this on? on? Can you hear me? It's on. Ah, uh, hello, hello. If you can hear me, congratulations. Way to go, way to go. You made it through. You made it through. You spent all that time, and now you're done. You did it. That's quite an achievement, Mike. My gosh, you, you looked a 20-foot carnivore right in the eye, and you've lived to tell about it. Well, you are something. Thank you. Thank you for, for sticking with it, for not giving up. That is really something. Now you know what you should do? Turn the thing off, for, for, for heaven's sakes, and go outside. You know, breathe the air, take a walk, call a member of the opposite sex. You know what I'm talking about. You know, you have a whole life, life out there. Get the stink blown off you. Just... Just go, go, really, turn off. You, I mean, I mean really, what was that? Hello, hello, okay, I go, I go. And that is the end of the Lost World Jurassic Park for the PlayStation. I very much enjoyed this game and uh, well, yeah, it's one of the better games that I've ever played be uh, for dinosaurs anyways um, I never truly finished it this finished this game from very start to end playing every single level as as a kid um, I am guilty of using the cheats to hop through you know more favorable stages but uh, this is actually the first time I've ever unlocked the secret ending so I guess that sums it up I, I suppose because, well, yeah, I really did enjoy this game and I didn't really get much farther until I was older, but I didn't really bother of finishing the game until pretty much now, now. But I have played it a couple times, so that's why I remember quite so much. And you do remember really good games because, well, to be honest, they don't quite make good games uh, as they used to. But anyways, here is the gallery password for Sarah Harding. And I believe we are now taken to the start screen. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of our journey. The Lost World Jurassic Park is now finished. This is Tyrant King 10 saying goodbye and farewell. And I hope to see you in my future videos or perhaps some other videos that you would like to check out. So, I hope each and every one of you, one of you, all, all and every one, have a great day and a safe day and all that jazz. And uh, question of the view is going to be in the description. So, peace. See ya the next time. And uh, thanks again very much for watching. And, yeah, enjoying. So, peace.